Okay guys, before we begin, let's give huge shoutouts to the patrons. Sebastian, Zachary Peters, Oscar Leon, Jeremy Shaw, Victor H, Dominic Ruiz, Connor Core, Ryder Evans, Chris Albert Lee, Yo-Yo Dre, Stefan Mikkel, Corey Davies, Mia White, Jerry52, Russell, Cryptic Phoenix, Dan, Jonathan, King Level, Elizania, Daniel Tischler, and all the $2 and $1 patrons. Thank you guys so much for the continued support, especially during these really rough times. I hope you guys are all managing to take care of yourselves. Because I'm doing yeah, pretty average, pretty alright. I mean, given the situation, we can only do so much, right? Anyways, let's get back to the video and I'll try to deliver some good vibes, okay? I'll do what I can to support the BLM movement and I suggest to support it too. The fight's still not over yet and we're already halfway through the year. We need to last until the change that we need happens. Hello guys, California Mike here and welcome to Vampire. We're going to explore London Pandemic. Now, this is a bit new to me. Okay, not really. I've already touched a bit on the game, but I haven't finished it yet. So we're going to enjoy that and see what kind of mayhem we can pull off. Or, you know, what kind of justice we can pull off. Because you're, from my understanding, you're a doctor recently turned vampire. Twelve dreams oh. for the Red Queen under crown of stone. Eight oh, wow. voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Yeesh. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer Who wrote for the this? summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, I just love the drama of this and the violence. made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? But lurking sun. Oh. What is war? But enslaved stone. Ooh. What is glass? But tortured sand. Yeesh. What is song? But a call to arms. What is hate? But jilted love. What is love? That's fanfic. But death pending. Ouch. Okay, that's really serious. Death. By the way, I had to turn down the graphics since this. I'm still using the laptop that can't handle much. But it looks good. Even with low graphics, this looks great. Is this a mass grave? Shit. Oh, yeah, I can't. I can't skip. I think I was busy doing some other stuff while this scene came out first to me. I actually had a video for this first part, but the the hard drive, the original one, crashed, so I'm playing at this again. And oh god, that's... Oh! Guys, I have a weakness for beards, and that looks good. He looks pretty handsome for a dead guy. So you're back from the dead, I bet you're a vampire now. Because you can see blood, that's not a normal human trait. Oh wow. You know what they say in horror movies, for, for, in horror games, follow the blood. <coughs> Excuse me. Rumlu. Oh, 
Oh, this is gonna end poorly, guys. Also, the shadows. Wow, I did not exp I forgot about that. Awesome. Yeah, here we go. I bet this would look better in the other system. The one with more graphics to spare. <laughs> Hold on, can I? Material quality level. Texture quality. Actually, I could probably amp up, amp up the setting here. Seems to still be running okay. And I'm running. I'm gonna rec try recording this at 30 FPS and then at the next episode, maybe 60 FPS. My sweet brother. Mary! Oh, Yo, bro. No. Yeah, he bit his Mary. sister. Oh, she did. Uh, Don't. Uh, hold on. Please, hold that on. That is a clean handkerchief. Oh, uh, by the way, Jonathan looks great, by the way, despite fresh from the flesh pit, sister. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went there. No. Melina, we miss you. I don't care if you were counted as a villain. We miss Melina. Jonathan, come on, let's go, boo. Let's go, boo. These patrols are after me. No, no, don't shoot. This is a nightmare. I need to get out of here. Oh, there is people following me. Okay. This can't be happening. No, please, stop! I mean you no harm. Come on, Jonathan. We need to run. Run, 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 run. Oh, God. What's going on? Oh, Mary. What have I done? What's all this about? Now, I can defend myself. That was quick to switch yourself. You. Stay okay. back! Sorry, but you left me no choice. Nothing to pick up here. Sorry. Sorry, Gav. I have a stamina bar, I just realized. Who are you? Stupid beast! Sorry! Come on, Jonathan. You can make it out of here. And are we at a finery? No, please, let's go. Who are you? Each strike takes up stamina, and I got reduced life bar. Ooh, Jonathan. Okay. <coughs> I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech. This is leech discrimination. Please, I mean vampire discrimination. I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast. Who are you? What is this all about? Oh, sunlight. God, I'll do the rest of the job. Just, just leave me. You gotta admit, the sounds of screaming are really convincing here. The sun. 
Aggravated damage. Certain elements like the fire, fire will deal aggravated damage that reduces your health bar. Okay. I need to find somewhere to hide. Right now. Let me go. I need to find shelter. In here, Jonathan. Is anybody there? I don't think so. What is this place? The place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Is it daylight? It seems hella bright for... Oh, shillings. I haven't heard that. Fire and sun. Leeches do not fear the sun of fire or fire, and they do not burst into flame or ashes when they are caught under the rays of daylight. It hurts them good, really good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted and eesh, ew. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared from behind the horizon. I cut its head off to finally destroy it, and when I tried the same test with fire, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Me Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldritch, Pruin Leader. Eldritch? Interesting name. And... Ah, god, that doesn't look pleasant. Yeah, not pleasant, not pleasant at all. You know, half the time I consider like, hey, let's get afterburner here. Wait. This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets, are you serious? I still have rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy to share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are. Undertakers. So, from what I gather from this story, it's that it's during the the plague of the Spanish flu, but apparently it's deeper than that. That's impossible. Excuse me, Jonathan. I'm just gonna do a. Loop. Let's try medium. Medium everything. I can't dash inside here. Mirror, mirror on the wall, it there's no reflection at all. But how are you seeing that wound? That's an interesting look. Who goes there? Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> Count Jocula. No. That is a nice card. No. I still have so much to accomplish. I still have so much left that needs doing. All right. One thing I gotta say, guys, I appreciate story-based games like this. Hold on. Money. Yay. Oh. <coughs> oh, that. Now I see the puncture wounds. Yeesh. Jonathan, Gov. That, lo that looks like it smarts. Oh, a gun. I guess he blew his brains out, ouch. Because of the creature downstairs? Must be someone they knew. 
Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. Oh, we got a badass. <laughs> No, it never got easy. There we go. It's a diary entry. 15, 16, oh. Alright, let me run it through you guys. Uh, apparently, Becky is someone that's related to the guy who shot himself on the chair, and she was transforming slowly and viciously and there's a lot of coherence and incoherence with how she talked so that worried the man also though she tried to claw his face so that's understandable we got a used revolver a oh, bloody diary now how do we okay there's a lot here okay so it's an offhand weapon with not without any ammo sadly is there anything else here no Alright, we'll proceed with the game. This makes no sense. None of it. No sense at all. It's a nightmare. That's it. Poor Johnny's lost his mind. And his sister, and a lot of everything he knew. Sorry, that was brutal. Plane? Really? So be it. I thought you had no ammo. I checked the menu. There was just one builder waiting there. Rational thinking only. Is there a way to? I can still hear him breathing against me. Oh, do you really want me to shoot here? I like how it transitions to there. Vampire. Vampire, vampire. How is the proper spe pronunciation there? Also burning at the stake, that's impressive. It's saved. <laughs> the effects? The shading looks better now, what the hell? I didn't notice it from earlier, but now it's pretty okay. Oh, sweat with blood. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Madness it is, as mad as the moon. James blood in sunlight into a glowing flesh. Who's whispering? Hide out. Beds allow you to evolve and rest. Spend experience points to level up and improve your vampiric skills. Autophagy. The vampire uses the power of his blood to heal. No you drink your own blood to heal. I'm not sure that makes sense, but... I think I want Shadow Mist. Throw a spear made of blood, which that sounds badass. Give me a minute. Alright, Jonathan. Actually, give me a minute. Yeah, I found a cheat. Great. I feel I feel dirty for that, but at the same time. I've already uh, 
gone for a bit. But you know what? Let's just save ourselves some of the trouble. When using bite in combat, damage inflicted. I think this is handy. Increase your stamina. I feel like I'm gonna need that a lot. Now select confirm to save your choices. Thank you. <coughs> that voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand. Wait, the body's what I gone. Have become. The body is goddamn gone. What the hell? Oh, they're getting through. These people want me dead. I need to leave now. Here's the leech. Here. Jump. My head's spinning. First time. It's locked. Offhand weapons can be used by pressing Y. They have attack limits. They have attacks with special effects and consume stamina. Press A to continue. Okay, so LB, RB, RT, LT. Autophagy for healing, blood spear, and shadow mist. That seems about right how I want it. All right. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach the West End. Go back home. Press Y to use your stake and inflict stun damage. A stunned enemy can be bitten. Oh, that's quick. There's a strength. Yummy. A strength I never knew I had. Stupid beast. Oh wow. The fiber of my being is on fire. Lunch time. I feel like a child. Oh wow, I the limits of my body. I heal even the aggravated damage, so that's pleasant. You're a big boy. My reflexes. I'm not human anymore. Gee, what gave you that idea? Shillings, aluminum shards, there's gonna be crafting here, I can tell. Well, now I can apparently dash. Shadow warp. Okay, if I hold it, it's different. Your king, country, your king needs you. Your king and country need you. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. I just took shillings from a dead man. Oh god, I eat rats. This is despicable. 
you'll get used to it. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. Good job. Wait, can the rats fill up blood? I feel like they do. I can't believe I'm Okay, it does fill up this. blood. What will London have to say to me? You I have so many on. questions unanswered. That's a huge walk just to get to the Another other side. Corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? I'm surprised I'm getting good frame rates here at the moment. Poor guy. The man has been drained of all blood. How can you tell? I can still smell the scent of it. Oh gee, we think. <coughs> I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Vampiric senses. Oh, Fresh okay. Blood. The smell is so strong. Where has everyone gone? Okay, there's something to check out there. Someone climbed up here. A hideout near the district. Oh, okay. You get experience for resting and crap. You can spend experience while resting or craft items at the workbench. You can craft medical treatments to heal six. Oh god, we have to take our citizens. I forgot about that. Serums to boost yourself. Weapon upgrades to improve and customize the weapons. So we're crafting medicine from garbage around the streets. That's good to know. This seems like a very efficient weapon. I like the stun mechanic. Right now I don't really have a lot of experience to spend, so I'm just gonna leave here. It auto-saves, which is good. So we're reinvestigating, and there's a bunch of people here. At last, a little life. Good evening, sir. I oh, wondered we can if rotate. I could ask for your help. Wow, you look like you need a drink. Yes. I apologize for my outfit. It's been... It's been a long night. Been there, seen that. Don't worry, things can only get worse. Wow. Very pessimistic. Did anyone enter the bar? Has anybody entered the bar recently? I can't say. Sorry. I spent the night making love to that gorgeous bowl, see? This is important, sir. Are you sure no one has come in here in the last few hours? I don't know and I don't care. This Eesh. is a free country. People still have the right to come and go, don't they? Eesh. What's Touchy. going on around here? It's like everybody is hiding. You must be new here. Have you not heard about the murders? <coughs> everybody me. fears to return to the <laughs> Who is this sewer dog? Who is this sewer dog? It's a local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. Blamed a sewer dog, eh? You make it sound like it's a fairy tale. People will always believe in monsters. It's easier than accepting their own darkness. We can all be monsters. I'll leave you to your bottle then. My god, sir, you look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, oh, grab a chair and get some rest. This is gonna be another long night. 
I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Entire week? That's... That's... That seems promising. Give me a minute, let me double check on something. Not sure if it's up on my records, but... Yeah, the second track is recording just nicely. How long has he been here? He rented the room a few days ago and didn't say when he'd leave. Who is this man? Who is this man? What does he look like? Well, like a gentleman, I guess. Well dressed, quite polite. A professor or something fancy like that. Always writing, reading notes. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. Excuse you, I'm not that kind of hoe yet. Hello, sir. Are you alright? Is there any way I can help you? I don't know. Maybe you could just talk to me. Maybe you prefer to speak with Tom then. He's more agreeable talking to strangers. What's going on around here? Where is everyone? Too many dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. Some say the sewer dog is back. The sewer dog? What's that? No one knows. People have always disappeared around these parts. The ancients say it's the sewer dog coming out to feed. But now he's killing in the streets. What have you heard about the epidemic? It's a Spanish flu. Yeah, killed so many last summer. Thought we'd seen the last of it. Dozens dying every week. Are the authorities doing anything? Nothing. There are so many quarantine zones in London now. Scoring I feel really bad that this is a out. small minor reflection of what we're suffering right now. I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just of other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah. Of course. I mean... I best check on them. Real smooth, lady. What is this place? This is Tom's Bar. A turquoise turtle. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. Are you always open this late at night? No, it's only since the epidemic started. Tom thought that people may need a safe place to stay. You don't seem to have much business. Where is everybody? Well, most people are sleeping right now. <coughs> and those that are awake tend to avoid going out. What with the murders and all. I'll leave then. Thank you. Ish. No one here is that friendly, except Tom. I hope I live long enough to see them wet boot boys get what's coming to them. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Alright. I feel like there's gonna be a cross. Vampire. Oh wow. Are you? I mean you no harm. Say it's a vampire. Present yourself! Well, if you ask nicely... I... <laughs> I'm sorry. I need... a word. Anyone. Oh. Oh. Well, that's something I can do for you. 
Yeesh. That was dramatic. Unknown. And who might he? Blood quality six thousand XP. Hints are locked. Oh God, we're. Are we profiling everyone? This guy has fatigue. Okay, this man has fatigue for being a drunkard. Her blood quality is just fifteen hundred XP. Blood quality of citizens is largely influenced by their health and the number of hints he gathered before embracing them. I feel like embracing is a different context here. I mean, we're dealing with a vampire. What do you think they do when you embrace? Who might you be? I won't tell. It's of no consequence who I am. But why you are here is certainly of consequence, don't you think? That's none of your concern. Yeesh, guys, calm Sir, down. You've entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. So please, indulge me. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, I can't rotate them, the camera here. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire, like you. I'm a victim too here. I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I, I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. <coughs> Excuse me. Help me then. Then help me find the culprit. I may. If you'll first tell me why you opened this door. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. See, we don't have to We're be both so chasing the cutthroat. same shadow. Yes. A shadow, indeed. Yet I heard his voice in my head. There was a moment I believed I was mad. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. Wow. How will you do any better than I? But then let me ask you this. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I'll demand answers. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Wait, that's it? There were other questions I haven't asked. I should have asked those first. Track the killer, interrogate the locals. So, he's not the one we're after. I cannot enter. I think I'm losing my mind. If I Swansea is not away. my attacker, it means somebody else came here tonight. Not Someone not must know something. Me a laugh. Welcome back. Did you find what you were after? I can't say I have. Are you sure no one else came into your bar before I arrived? Hey, I told you, you were the only other stranger I've had. Stranger? I think you're hiding something from me. I hide many things from many people, sir. That's what my Where job's about. Maybe he knows someone. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. He knows someone, Damn definitely. It. I think drink no longer stirs me. Oh, there she is. Evening, sir. Can I help you? I have a few questions for you. <sighs> well, if you must. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. Oh, wow. Now, I want the truth. The truth? What do you mean? I suspect that someone else was here tonight. And I don't think Tom wants to tell me about it. I'm just the barmaid here, okay? If Tom says you're the only visitor we had, then you're the only visitor we had. I can feel your fear, madam. Please, tell me what's going on. It's Will. William Bishop. I really he like how tonight and he... Jonathan looks here. Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. What happened tonight? What happened tonight? He was dead drunk, as usual. 
My God, his, his, his eyes, his face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. Why are you so afraid? I mean, Look, during thing. a pandemic, is that... this is the Spanish flu we're talking about here. Every glass and every chair that he touched. You don't oh, just... God, I hope it's not contagious. Social distance. <laughs> I don't think they imply social distance here much, don't they? Tell me about this, William. <coughs> Will was a sailor who worked at the cannon factory before he lost that job. A nice bloke, really. He's never been violent. Until tonight. Why keep it a secret? Why not tell me about it? Tom's nothing if not loyal. After Will lost his job, he offered him one ear. They used to be good mates. But recently, well... Will started to get very aggressive. I see. Thank you for your candor. I'm sure to talk to Tom. I really... You just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen and someone related to them. Tom and William Bishop used to be good friends. So it improves the blood quality because we're gonna suck the living lives out of them. Also, he's got... Jonathan has really nice shoulders. Call me a thirsty hoe, but I'm a... I'm actually pretty into it. I think drink no longer stirs me. You again. What can I do for you? Alright, now we can talk about it. Tom, talk to me about the visit wow, we just from your old friend, him. William. Yes, Alex, Will came Echo. by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Aw, why? Who is he? William, just an old sailor who loves his gin too much. He worked for years at the canning factory before it closed. This is a really dark echo of the current times. Is he dangerous? Yeah. Like many drunks, he's all bark and no bite. He can barely stand up most of the time. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. How was he tonight? Was he different? Oh, sicker than usual, perhaps. He whined and mumbled about how mean people were to him and how he'd like to talk to me outside. And then he left when I refused. I guess you were smart to refuse, because I feel like he's lost his mind now. Why lie to me if he is not your friend? I didn't lie. I said you were my only unannounced customer and that's the truth. Wow, technicalities. I need to find him. It's a matter of urgency. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. <sighs> What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick. Bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. William used to be strong. Now he's a mess. Thank you, Tom. If you see him, tell him I don't want him back here unless he cleans up his act, okay? I hope I live long enough to see them. Track the killer, inspect the boat. Nothing here. Nothing of consequence behind here. Okay, he's... he can't really go much there. Limehouse Dock, stable. I will get to the bottom of this intrigue. What's been done to me? To this city? This might help things run smoother. Still looks pretty decent, actually. The body is, is that... still warm. Oh, this that's man not Tom. Has just been drained of blood. That's not William. Sorry. Examine the outfit. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. That face, though, marred. Examine the wounds. This corpse has been dried of its blood. Just how like can you? The previous victim. How can you tell with just a glance? What's this? Some sort of note. Pre-win orders from G. Column to Dark Patrols. 
object, multiple deaths in the docks region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast, purge it, and quickly. Warning, according to recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first, like old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. These men, they're a company of professional vampire hunters. Blood and empty gin bottles. This bishop fellow is something of a heavy drinker. Move on. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. What? I must reach that barge. Oh. Um, how- oh! Why- Anything here? They're hunters. Should I... Approach stealthily. Got him. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. Can I approach from the side? I feel like I can sneak up on this bastard. But I'm in his line of sight. I don't know how he'll miss me, you know? I'm ready to fight though. Oh my god, he didn't see me. Are you kidding me, mate? You couldn't see me. You're blind as a bat. Shotgun shells. Interesting. Any pickups here? No? I kind of like the feel of the combat. And it doesn't let you abuse the... the dodge button. Where oh, where oh, where oh, shadow. <coughs> High resistance is red. That's counterintuitive. Medium resistance is orange, so this guy's weak against shadows and the blood. Please, sir. Can't let you through. Got it. Shotgun shells. Bullets. Should I... Actually, can I even equip it? Okay. It's got some stun power. Using it is Y, and up and down is- oh, the up and down is the whatever's extra items we're gonna pick up. I like their screams when you burn them alive. Yeesh. See them? What's he I need I need a pick me up. He's dead. Well, there you go. Picked up, sorted off. Hmm. This one's glowing. What you got? 
New practices, new tactics. I know that some of our companions consider that the best advantage we have in our fight against leeches is that they can't go out during the day. Thus, we can hunt them down when they hide, powerless in their sleep. This is a rookie mistake. First, because that vampires are clever and they have countless ruses and tricks to avoid being spotted in their den. Second, because they deploy many deadly traps to kill any intruders, but they consider their most precious sanctuary. It would cost us too much men and too much time to explore and eradicate vampires in their hideouts. The best tactic is to follow and destroy them when they are really vulnerable, when they hunt at night. It's much easier to attack them then, for they can easily be spotted. That's why the god of Prewin must evolve and deploy new tactics. Eesh, this is a full on... Oh. That's handy. I can skip the stairs if the game lets it. Alright. Is there someone here? I guess so. Good thing there's no weapon endurance here. Good, didn't have to fight anyone. Rats are available for draining. I've already learned that earlier. Also, they're. I think they're near hideouts? I can't believe I'm doing this. New hideout. Oh. Lead plate, common handle pot. Can I upgrade? I feel like I could upgrade. I think I'm ready to go up. Go on. One more here. It's locked. It's locked. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. Yeesh, that's the a lot. Is so strong, it makes me dizzy. All right, let's pick this up. Lead rod. Unknown man and another person there that I can't detect, so that's an enemy. William. Use the scythe. Equip a two-handed weapon. Press Y to use. Oh god, don't tell me this guy's gonna eat a priest. He looks like a priest. Let's use the scythe. Oh! It eats up two slots, so that's a two handed thing. This place reeks of bloodshed. I can't feel it. His arm? Oh god, we this better hurry. This creature is bedeviled. I must put it down. Give me some blood, baby. No, you don't. Hello, this is my shepherd. Oh. Use bludgeon. Can I... I would like to use that, please. I feel like... Hold on, before I help this guy, could I pick up some more shit? Stop. William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? I knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I am a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I oh, must shit. return to my flock. They'll stray without me. Oh. 
Remember, certain Skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by Skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. Oh, that's an exit. That's an even more of an exit. I believe, sir, I already have. God damn it, girl. Cheeky. Well, it's... He let a vampire My feast on him. Is he gonna saints, turn? You've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. I just realized this guy sounds like Nigel Thornberry. Great. Patience, good fellows. I've come to offer help. Smashing. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. Sure, Nigel Thornberry. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fault. My flock needs me. Yes. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise, and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. So... What are we supposed to do? Gather a blood sample. Of course, the doctor this in you. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some... So we got this, we got titter tats, samples and ingredients, ferrous tartrate, glass vial. We got our blood sample. For them. Subspecies of vampire. Subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Well, since we're a doctor, we should have seen that we're gonna get scientific on this. Oh, I can rotate. There we are. He looks really handsome. I just wish I could rotate better here, but... Where are we headed? We're on our way to the Pembroke Hospital. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. William was... What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What? Who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You use me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back, but I will tell you she values her privacy. Hmm. Were London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion between the rest of London and the epidemic. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work. The front lines of a plague I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed. How did you find that out? Some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. You are correct. What, did you come to my I knew it. one of my... I had my suspicions. ...conferences or, but you when know, you took the blood seminars. from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. He seems to be fanboying a lot about this. Have we met? I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again. From a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth. But when myth walks among us... The Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its purpose to their study. There's so much for you to learn. Of that, you are right. 
Well, he looks really good. <laughs> then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital as a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, this man what came do you prepared. say? Oh, now it I can't. I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Pembroke Hospital. I think we'll try to wrap up this act first. See what what comes and what's amiss. Doctor Swansea, thank goodness! I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes, Doctor? Dr. Reed here has just returned from the front. He served King and Country. God, he looks great in that coat. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. I'm gonna tweak a bit more. I look really dashing. Analyze William Bishop's blood in hospital. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Mr. Hampton needs me right now. Come on, you bastard! You can do that. What? It's my turn. Are you? Oh my God! Rotten or pristine, each heart contains the secrets of life. Drink at this river. Try it. Come on, you bastard! I won't bite! Sir, please! You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! You could be nice. Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain. Guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. That sounds ominous. I don't trust that. Blood quality indicates how much XP you obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more experience you get. To drink the blood of your prey- Oh god, there it is. First need to mesmerize them, lead them out of sight. Your mesmerize level must be equal or higher than that of the citizens. Press LB to mesmerize clay. 
There's Embrace. Release him. I'm not gonna do that. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Common handle parts. Just stay there, we'll call for an ambulance or some shit. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. Don't worry, there are a lot of enemies that I can probably suck the life out of. Oh, Ness Crane. It's freezing here. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already making the rounds? That's the Pembroke spirit. Aww. I'll ask our porter, Milton, to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? <coughs> yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I have a few questions. I would like to ask a few questions first. How is Mr. Hampton? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I think <laughs> you have known about your employer. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Oh wow, that's one way of putting it. What kind of man and is Dr. Swansea? Wait, Wait she's accepting? a leader somewhere else. That's concerning. Did the job from him? I thought you would have known about your employer. Dr. Swan. Hey, I found a skip button. If you could point me in the direction of my second. Thank you, Nurse Crane. I'm gonna take some time to learn about everyone here, apparently. Be right back, guys. Alright, briefly back. Just finished talking with a bunch of people here. There is stuff to loot, apparently. I'm raiding a hospital, that's not pleasant. We get a hacksaw! Just lying around! Excuse me. Is it any better? It's better than a machete, apparently. This. That shall be my trusty weapon from now on. T. Elwood's medical file. Patient's face has been heavily burnt and disfigured by a bomb during the war. Even with the use of strong sedatives, he affirms to regularly induce severe pain. Cicitrized tissues, no inflammation. Could it be a case of guilt of the survivor? He blames himself for his disfiguration. Thomas Elwood. He's one of the people I talked to. He's got a very damaged face. Some some of these people are fatigued and such. Hold on. What's your ailment? Is fatigue. There's still people I haven't met yet. Well, there's one person I haven't met yet. You know what? That can wait. I mean, it's just gonna be one night. What's one night gonna do, huh? Someone's gonna die. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Relegated to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. That's one At way to say At least I won't it. be sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> he still has humor. Article on Econs. These are just our abilities so far. 
glass vials. The flower's dying. It needs water. Oh yeah, we don't have a sink. Where do we get water? Analyze the blood. So we get a recipe, but I don't know what he's gonna say about it. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time now. Yeah, you do have so much time now. Alright. Defensive, no. Tactical, nah. I don't think so. There we go. Confirm. Well, that's one night. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? I think that'll be it for now. Thank you guys for joining me. We finished Act 1. We've gone over a lot of details and this took a while. I think I'll continue, I'll continue this a little bit sparingly. This is an open world thing. It's gonna feel a bit like GTA or some sort, but with story and it's in a restricted area. I mean, if you look at the map, if you look at the map here, I'm guessing this is the respective area we'll have access to. It doesn't look big, but I feel like it's gonna be a lot of walking. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you guys soon. California Mike, signing out. Bye for now.